Hi guys. This is D. Igorotech. Today, I will show you 10 ways on how to fix a LAN Ethernet cable connected but no internet access. These are applicable to any Windows operating system. Let's begin. If we look at the taskbar, we can see that we are connected. However, if we open the command prompt and try to ping the Google DNS or browse the internet, both are unreachable. Some other error you can see is connected but no internet. If you are running Windows 11, you can see the globe icon and if you hover your cursor over it, it says no internet access. The first method is we will disable and then enable back the network adapter. Go to search. Search for network connection. Click on it. Select your LAN network adapter. In my case is the Ethernet 3. Right click on it then click disable. Notice that the icon will turn into gray and you can see it's disabled. After a few seconds. Right click on it again. Choose enable. Wait for it to receive or configure the IP settings. Now. Test to browse the internet again. If that did not solve your issue then proceed to the next method. Set your IP settings to DHCP. Right click on your network adapter. Properties. Choose Internet Protocol version 4. Click on it then click Properties. Choose Obtain an IP address automatically. This will automatically receive an IP address from your DHCP server which is the router, firewall or from your Windows server. For the DNS server, you can choose Obtain DNS Server automatically or manually set the DNS server to any public DNS like the Google DNS or Cloudflare DNS. This will make your internet faster especially if your router was not configured correctly. I will show you how to change your router DNS later on. Click OK to apply the changes. Now, test to browse the internet again. If that did not solve the issue then proceed to the next method. Set your date and time settings. Make sure the date and time is synchronized, not advanced or delayed especially the month and year. To set your date and time settings, right click on it, choose adjust date and time. Enable set time automatically. Under time zone, make sure to choose the correct time zone based on your location. To manually set the date and time, First is you need to disable the set time automatically then only you have the option to set the date and time manually. Enter the current date and time based on your location then click change to apply the changes. Now, test to browse the internet again, if that did not solve the issue then proceed to the next method. Reset the network adapter settings. Right click on the network adapter icon. Choose network and internet settings. You can also see the error from here. No internet access, your device can only access other devices on your local network. Scroll down, choose advanced network settings. Scroll down again, choose network reset. This process will remove and reinstall all your network adapters and set other components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterward, such as VPN client software and virtual switches. Your PC will also be restarted after the process. In addition, you need to reconnect to your Wi-Fi network if you are using a laptop after this process since it will also be reset to default settings. If you agree, click Reset Now. You need to confirm the process. Click Yes. Now, your computer will automatically restart after 5 minutes. You can wait for it or you can restart your computer immediately. After your computer restart then test your internet connection. If that did not solve the issue then proceed to the next method. Reinstall the network driver. Go to search. Type device manager. Choose device manager control panel. Expand the network adapters. Choose your network adapter. You can open the network connections to verify. In my case it's the Ethernet 3 or D-Link Dub 1312. Now. Right click on it. Choose uninstall device. Choose uninstall. Notice that the network adapter disappeared. At the top of the window, click action. Choose scan for hardware changes. Wait for it to automatically install the network adapter driver. 
you can test to browse the internet again. If that did not solve the issue then proceed to the next process. Install different network driver. Open the device manager again. Choose your network adapter. Right click on it. Choose update driver. Browse my computer for drivers. Choose pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. A list of drivers will be displayed here. You can test them one by one. Click on it then click next. Test the internet after each process. If it did not work then try different drivers listed available. If that method did not solve the issue then proceed to the next process. Fix socket errors, reset IP address and DNS. Go to search. Type CMD. Select the command prompt. Right click on it then choose run as administrator. You need to run some few commands. First is we will reset the Winsock catalog. Enter the command net sh winsock reset. Hit enter. Successfully reset the winsock catalog. Next is enter the command net sh int ip reset. Restart computer to complete this action, we will do this later. Lastly, enter the command ip config slash flush dns. Hit enter. Successfully flush the dns resolver cache. Enter the command exit or simply close the window then restart your computer. If that did not solve the issue then proceed to the next method. Diagnose network adapter. Go to search. Type network connections. Choose view network connections. Choose your network adapter. Right click on it. Choose diagnose. Wait for it to finish the process. You will see a problems found. If no problems found on your computer then proceed to the next method. Now, chose try these repairs as an administrator. Choose apply this fix. Wait for it to resolve the problem. Problem fixed. Now close the window and test browse internet again. Lastly, we will change the router or firewall DNS. Log in to your router or firewall. In my case, I'm using an ASUS router. This may depend on your router or firewall settings, but the process is the same. Go to LAN settings. Choose DHCP server. Look for DHCP server settings. Manually set the DNS server. We will use the Google DNS which is 8.8.8.8. .8 you can add more DNS IPs if your device supports multiple DNS. Once done, click OK to apply the changes. By default, you will receive the ISP DNS or your router gateway as your DNS. Replace it to Google DNS or Cloudflare DNS will speed up your internet speed. This process will automatically reboot the router. This depends on the device. After you change the DNS then you need to restart DHCP clients like your computer for it to receive the new DNS. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you on the next video.